Hey everyone and welcome back. Before we begin here today, please make sure that you like and subscribe because it really does help out our channel and it also helps us reach others in need of assistance with these topics. So in today's video, we're going to be covering statics, moment about a point, and this will be our fifth part in this particular series. And what we have going on with this one is that we have a 20 pound force is applied to a control rod AB as shown knowing that the length of the rod is nine inches and that the moment of the force about B is 120 pound inch clockwise rotation, we need to determine this alpha angle up here such that it results in this moment down here at B. So typically when you're given the angle of the force, what you wanna do is you wanna break it up into an XY coordinate system and an XY component of that force and it makes life so much easier. Now, when you're typically given the, uh, or when you're not given the angle and you have to find the angle of the force with the element itself also being at an angle, this is probably the best procedure to get there, to get to that answer. So what I'm going to do here is that I am going to do this. So this is my, my rod. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to split up my 20 pound force into the following forces. And let's go ahead and just do those in a different color. So I'm going to try to split it up like this, such that my XY coordinate system looks something like this. It's at an angle where the Y is aligning perfectly with the lever and it aligns perfectly with the point B down here so that the moment of this Y component of the force of 20 pounds does nothing at all, and I only have to concern myself with this force up here. So in doing that, I will only have one force that I have to consider, this one that is perpendicular to the lever arm itself. So let's work on getting that one, and the trick is getting the angles for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow it up here, so make it much bigger so we can actually see what's going on. So this will be my point A, and this will be my lever arm here. So my force that I'm looking for will be something like this, perpendicular to that lever arm. I was given the 20 pound force like this. And I am shown that the alpha angle is off the horizontal like that. And then down here we have the 65 degrees, which is also off the horizontal. So if you remember your parallel line theorems, when you have a line um, going through two parallel lines, such as the parallel line of the x-axis here and the x-axis up here, this angle right here will also be 65 degrees off of the horizontal down to the lever arm. So how does this help us overall? Well, we can get some information here. So let's switch over to a different color. So since this is a total of 65 degrees and this is the alpha angle right here, this angle from the 20 pounds, the original force to the lever arm would just be 65 degrees minus off alpha. Well, remember that we had a force here. Well, this component of this 20 pounds to the lever arm would be 20 pounds cosine of this angle of 65 minus alpha. So this perpendicular one, the angle is not touching this perpendicular component, so we would have 20 pounds, and since it is not touching it, it is opposite the angle. That would be sine of the angle to the lever arm, which is 65 degrees minus off alpha. So that would be my overall component that I would use for my lever arm utilizing this angle here. Now, if you did the other way where you had components where you just went X, and then regular y, you would end up with cosine of one alpha and then sine of another alpha angle, and it gets really complex trying to solve for that alpha. Utilizing this method, one of your components completely drops out, and you're left with only one unknown. So let's go ahead and put point B down here. We know that this distance is nine inches, which is given in the problem statement. So there's my perpendicular distance down to B. And this force times this perpendicular distance has to equal the 120 pound inches of rotation. So let's go ahead and put this formula together and solve for alpha. So if we take clockwise summation of moments about point B, this is what it has to be. We would have our force of 20 pounds times the sine of 65 degrees minus off alpha. That would be my total force. And my perpendicular distance would be the length of the lever arm, since that's the way I have my force set up, 
would be nine inches has to be equal to 120 pound inches of moment. So at this point, it just becomes algebra solving for our alpha angle. So nine times 120 gives me 180, or nine times 20 gives me 180, and then times sine of 65 minus alpha is equal to 120. So then the sine of 65 minus alpha, when you take 180 to the opposite side, you get 0 0.667. So then you would take the sine inverse of both sides and we would end up with 65 minus alpha is equal to 41.81. When you take the sine inverse of 0 0.667 and keep in mind, uh, your calculators have to be in degrees here. So we would end up with minus alpha is equal to a minus 23.19 degrees when we take 65 from each side. So dropping the minus sign from each side, we end up with our alpha angle of being 23.19 degrees, and that is our answer. So what that means is that this angle up here has to be 23.19 degrees for this 20 pounds such that the rotation about point B will be 120 pound inches of ro moments rotation. So usually when you're utilizing or trying to find the angle of the force, when the element itself is at an angle, this is typically the best way to set up your problem. So you end up with only one unknown in your equation. And that's how you would solve that particular problem. So I hope this video was helpful. And if you want to see more problems solved this Friday, please check out the other videos on our channel. Also, if you haven't done so already, please like this video, leave a positive comment below, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.